It still Easter holiday, even though I in the previous video was a bit premature in uh, wishing everyone a happy holiday. I'm still cleaning up the place and uh, how about the sound of uh, starting old burger? That new starter is, uh, is really something else. A tractor like that is a really great tool to have when, uh, when you're doing stuff by yourself. Lifting the, the things you can do on your own uh, or even with a couple of people. So I'm really, really glad that I have uh, old Burger and that he now works properly. He still needs a little love and care. He has a few leaks here and there, but now at least the vital parts are functioning. So, uh, so at least he runs and uh, he's doing a real good job. But doing work like this with the tractor in the Easter holiday is kind of a gray area. It might not be allowed uh, by law, but more on that later. This old uh, garbage shed slash pig house has uh, served its purpose. I'm gonna have a pig somewhere else this year, so uh, I'm thinking maybe this this is 1,000 square meters, and I think this would be a good place to keep ducks. It has a fence all around with smaller nettings to keep them in. And there is a pool here, so the ducks can go down and swim in the river. The pigs never used it for swimming, they, they only drank from it. Um, and I was kind of excited to see if the, the pool would hold. Uh, the ice could break the fence post and uh, and tear it down but as far as I can see nothing's damaged yet so if I made a duck house in here I think this would be a great place to keep ducks and maybe a, a couple of geese we'll see The roof is made of some metal sheets, so uh, and they look pretty good, so I think I'll keep those. Uh, the rest of this is uh, food for fire. I'm glad to get rid of this uh, old barbed wire. Um, is it barbed wire? Bar barbed wi barbed wire? That's Pamela Anderson, right? So it's barbed wire. Barbed wire is forbidden to use in Norway. Uh, it's been so for quite some time. And that's why hides from uh, Norwegian cows and bulls are uh, sought after in the uh, in the leather industry because they have no scratches. This barbed wire was probably dug down uh, years ago but they obviously didn't dig deep enough so um, now it's back. And I want to get rid of it all so that when I have animals here again uh, they won't hurt themselves. Someone asked about an update about the beaver and to be honest I haven't been over there for quite some time. After I was sick 
it took quite some time before I was uh, back to my old self. I think it was about four or five weeks before I was fully functional again. But I'll take the trail cam over there soon so uh, we can see if we can spot him and also see if he's done any more damage. And now that the tractor is working again, I will go over and uh, and gather all the trees that he uh, he's taken down to uh, so that I can make some firewood. But first, my main goal is to get this place cleaned up and get rid of all the junk, uh, so it doesn't look like a hoarder is living here. And it feels a lot better when it looks a bit nicer. I know that I could probably sell some of this stuff and get some money from it, but sometimes I just gotta get rid of it and the worth of getting rid of it and have a tidy and clean place is higher than the price of having to buy it when and if I need it sometime. And if I were to need it in like seven years, I wouldn't know where I put it and then I would have to buy it and I would end up with two. Of course, I'll keep the stuff that I know that I'm going to use. But a lot of this stuff, it's going to be so nice to get rid of it. I want everything gone, so I'm going to move the pallets from the firewood as well. And that serves two purposes. The, I get rid of all the pallets. And if someone's home, I got to meet some of my friends and say hello, and just maybe they have a cup of coffee. So that angle grinding was from yesterday, uh, the Saturday of Easter, Easter Saturday maybe. Uh, if I were to do that today, on Sunday, my neighbors could actually call the police and press charges. You're not allowed to make noise on days like this. You're supposed to uh, respect and keep the peace on the Christian holidays. And it kept me thinking uh, if the tractor driving I was doing on Thursday and Friday, maybe someone has a problem with that. I guess that depends on, on the neighbors. I read a newspaper article that on Thursday, someone tried to put up a scaffold and someone called the police and they came and shut them down. So that's why I did the, the angle grinding on Saturday, cause uh, on Saturday until four o'clock, uh, you can do whatever you want. But the minute it's four o'clock, you need to, uh, to be quiet. And uh, I'm thinking that uh, we've had a long winter and suddenly it, the weather is warm and the snow and ice is gone and people have free time to, to, to get stuff done uh, around their houses and to make a little noise when doing that before going back to work, I would think that's fine. Uh, but we are people bound with tradition and a lot of people want it that way. So um, in, when I established a pasture out here, uh, there was a lot of tractor driving and that was around Easter. And I went over and talked to one of the elderly in the neighborhood and he said that tractor driving, um, tractor driving on the Thursday and Friday and Saturday was, was okay, but not on Sunday. That was the, the most sacred of the days. So he said, uh, keep the noise to a minimum, leave the tractor on the Sunday. So I'll do that to not piss off uh, the neighbors, even though uh, half of them are gone. Uh, another Easter tradition is to go to the mountains and go cross country skiing and sit and get a sunburn. <laughs> I still have uh, some cleaning up to do. Um, 
I'm gonna get rid of that and uh, I'm gonna work quietly. I still have some metal, so uh, the place is not totally clean, but the recycling station is open on Tuesday, so I'm gonna get rid of all that then. And in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee and the sun, and maybe I'm gonna consider taking off my long johns, uh, but we'll have to see.